This program is made possible by crazy about sound. So we will use any excuse to build one, practicing anywhere. Helsinki Senat Square, and that's Helsinki Cathedral. This is the place where we gather to celebrate New Year's Eve or big sporting events. Actually, we gather here every time we have something to celebrate. Now I have to find my friends. We're hanging out at the park, just around the corner. It's my turn to cook lunch. I'm going to make borsmak. That's a special Finnish meat dish. And later tonight, I will put together a pink picnic basket and throw a party out on the island. Hey! Hey! Oh, hi! There you are! How are you guys? I would love to sit down with guys, but hey, if we're gonna eat today, I better start cooking. You want some food, don't you? <laughs> okay, just relax, and I will let you know when the food is ready. Great! Okay, bye! at Restaurant Savoy. This classic restaurant opened its door 70 years ago, just before World War II. Savoy's original interior was created by Alvar Aalto, world-renowned Venice architect. One of the frequent customers was the Marshal of Finland, Carl Gustav Emil Mannerheim. He was our commander-in-chief during the Second World War and also our sixth president. Now I'm going to make Vorsmak, Mannerheim's favorite dish. On one of his trips, he fell in love with Vorsmak and brought his favorite recipe to Finland and at this suburb restaurant. Since then, it's been a really popular dish among Finns. And first, I add one big chunk of butter. Oh, nice sizzling going on. Let the butter melt, and then I will add my minced meat. I have 400 grams of lamb minced meat, 400 grams of beef minced meat, and 400 grams of moose meat. It's about 14 ounces per each. I let them brown a little bit. Add 
onions. I have two diced onions. And now I need some garlic. And here I have five garlic cloves, finely chopped. Let's stir that in. Oh, it smells so good. And next I add some pickled herring. And this will give amazing aroma to Vorsmak. It will have like sweetness and saltiness. This is, this is the secret ingredients. And now I'm gonna cut it into nice rough pieces. There. Now let's add it into the pot. And next I'm gonna add some anchovy fillets. I need some color. And here I have tomato puree. I'm gonna add about four tablespoons. This will give a really nice uh, reddish color in a way. I heard that the original Mannerheim recipe has a quite a bit of cognac. And of course I have to add some on my own Borsmak, and here I have, mm-hmm, let's pour quite a bit. There, and then finally, I need some water, about one liter, so one quart, and I have it over here. And now I'm gonna let it simmer for about half an hour. What amazing aroma. And now I'm gonna blend it with a handheld mixture. All the ingredients to nice, smooth paste. Looks good. I'm gonna put my mixer over here. And then I'm gonna actually transfer it to the oven. And without the lead, that's really important. And I'm gonna put it in 160 degrees Celsius. So it's about 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about three hours. And one more thing, when the Vorsmak is in the oven, you should remember to stir it occasionally. 